What up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drink Gang, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification. That way you can get notified every single time I drop videos just like this one. Today I'm gonna refresh you guys up on some EQ techniques on how to get your sounds to fit well in your beats. We're gonna cook up a beat from scratch and then we're gonna bust out the EQ and start getting these sounds to blend well. Mastering your EQ is really important when you're making beats. You have to know how to get your sounds to fit well together and how to blend well together. That way you don't have too much of one sound or too low of another sound. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the MPC software. We're gonna cook up this beat and then we're gonna practice some EQ techniques. Let's get it going. All right, peoples, we are live inside the MPC software and we're going to cook up a little beat. Um, I'm going to use the Chords plugin. This is a Chords by Loop Masters right here. It's a VST and it's really nice because it layers chords for you. That's the job of it. It doesn't give you single notes, it gives you chords. So these are the presets here. You know, it has pads, stabs, keys, leads, bass, strings, strums. And I'm going to, let me, let me go to, let me just make sure. Uh, let me go to keys real quick and I'm going to just play some of the things that way you can see how it, how it works. See, it gives you chords. That's dark keys. See, that's nice. You see what I'm saying? And it comes in two layers right here. See, it says chord layers. It comes in, this is your first layer here at the top. All of this right here. And then if you notice, it has the second layer. So this is your chord layer. And then this is your note layer. So you can layer chords and then you can layer some notes on underneath it and we can change it is through here, right here. And you can give it whatever different feel you want. And then you can change this one to whatever different feel you want. You can even transpose the octaves right here. You have your attack, decay, sustain and release um, and a few envelopes that way you can kind of tweak the sounds. You can even level off the different layers if you want. So let's go to the voice, the vocal preset. And we're gonna go down to voice in my head. That's a good one. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna base a beat just off of this uh, just this sound right here. Let's see if we can do it. So we're just gonna kind of freestyle a little melody over this. We put that first sound in F minor, so that's what this piano is in. And it's a nice uh, Rhodes piano, so, you know, and then I'll kind of EQ everything, show you guys how I EQ both the melodies to uh, get them to fit. So let's just drop a freestyle on this and see if it works out. highlight all of these notes and I'm going to hit shift arrow up and I'm going to move them up an octave. What I'm going to do is just go an octave down where I was before and we're going to play some bass notes underneath this. Just come up with a nice little strumming progression. Something like that. Just something to kind of put underneath this uh this melody see it kind of gives it a nice little melodic feel you know kind of brings out the uh, piano notes a little bit more all right, now that we got our two melodies made, we're going to do some EQ and let's go back to the first one with the uh, with the chord, the vocal chords. Let's put our EQ on that. Okay, bam, we got one EQ and then we're gonna go to the third track with our melody and we're gonna put an EQ on that as well. Bam, now we have both our EQs, okay. 
we're gonna put our one EQ on the left, one EQ on the right. Okay, and we're going to EQ everything just so we can hear it. I'm gonna put the NPC in track mute mode. That way I can mute the tracks because all I want is just the uh, the the melody, the two melodies playing. No drum track, nothing else, just the two melodies playing. So let's see if we can just EQ this. We're gonna start off with the low end first with the uh, chords, the vocal chords first right here. And then we're gonna get into the, uh, the melody. So let's do it. <laughs> and dropped all of our low end out that way it doesn't conflict with our 808 when we do it and then we pull the high end down of this now the reason why we pulled the high end down is because if you notice in our melody right here all of the high end is playing so we kind of want this to be our high end and not clash with this high end so we pull this down make it a little muffled and then we're going to do the same thing get rid of all the bass and then we're gonna cut out most of the mid, that way the high end can shine right here and take up this space. So let's do it. See what we did, we took out all of the low end, a little bit of the mid, and then we boosted this high end just a little bit. That way it makes up for the high end that we dropped out here. Now the melodies mesh and they sit well together. We're gonna disengage the EQs and I'm gonna let it play and then I'm gonna engage, you, engage it and let you see how it is. Notice how all of the sounds are clashing and then when we engage the EQ, it's gonna space them out. See, it fits, the sounds are separated. Now we can even throw like a nice counter melody in between here because we have enough space to do that. So, you know, that's the beauty about learning how to space your sounds out. Everything sets well and you can interject little things in when you want. All right, I found this nice sound in the Lion VST. It's called Time After Time. Kind of like that 80s pad kind of feel. I want to see if I can work that in here some kind of way. I'm going to go to track three where our melody is, all of our melody notes here. And then I'm going to go to, to edit the sequence. And then I'm going to hit events. I want to copy the events from track three. I want to save track four for my 808. So I'm going to copy these melody events to track five. Okay, let's hit that. Okay, then let's go to track five. And this is all of our melody events. And it now has this sound on it. Okay, it has too much that's playing on top of it. So what I'd like to do is get rid of all of these top notes that's playing the melody, all of these. All of these different top notes here. Let's delete all of those, make sure we got them all, okay. And then let's see how that kind of works. All right, now we want to make this sound match with our, our chant, not our melody, because we don't want the melody doing the same thing. We want to blend this in with the chant. That way this can be an underlying sound with the chant as the drums are playing. So let's mute the melody, and then we're going to EQ just this to fit our chant. So let's do that. Let's play it, and we're going to put our EQ on the track. All 
Okay. All right, if you notice what I did, I dropped out all of the low end frequency, don't want that there at all. And then I cut off all of the highs because if you notice our chant sound, our vocal chant, it's um it's in the low end kind of register as well. So I want to blend that in. I don't want to make it stand out by having the highs here. So I took down the highs to blend it in with that low end vocal chant. And then I dipped out a bit of the, the uh, resonant frequencies in the middle just so it doesn't pop out over the vocal chant. It kind of blends in well with it. So this is another good way. Don't be afraid to mute your sounds. That way you can kind of blend in the exact two or three instruments you want to hear and then bring your sound back in to see if it fits. And now it's time to drop some drums on the track. Let's drop the 808 on the track. Nice 808. Before we do that, let's go to our effects and let's put our EQ on it. We're going to choose our mono EQ. That way we keep the 808 in mono. If you notice, these two channels, only one will be playing. And make sure that we're in mono. That way it doesn't conflict with all the instruments on the side. So now we can lay down our, our 808 and then that it EQ correctly. Let's do it. saturation plugin we're gonna put our clipper on it to make sure it doesn't peak does is just make sure it crunches down on our 808 and brings out that saturation you know that way it pops i'm gonna kind of take the uh the low end down a bit as well all right that sounds nice really nice all right, I have this nice pluck sound in a Thorn VST. Really nice uh, pluck sound. So we're gonna see if we can drop that in, just some little sprinkles, you know? I muted everything in the track and I just only got the vocal chant playing. Um, I want this pluck sound playing and the 808 and the drums. That way I can kind of just put this in, you know, and hear everything, hear how nice it sounds. So let's see if we can do it. guys i hope you picked up some nice eq techniques in watching this video it's amazing how you can shape and carve your sounds when you know exactly how to work your eq i have other videos that go really in depth on eq techniques so you guys are welcome to check that out on my channel it's going to help you to dive in deep with any eq you're using and it's going to show you exactly how to get your sounds to fit well in your beats 
If you got any value from this video, smash that thumbs up button and also drop me a comment below and let me know some of your EQ techniques that you use when you're making your beats. Make sure you drop your boy a follow on Instagram at The Drink King and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. That's my time, guys. Thank you for tuning in. This is the kid DZD, aka The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh